Sai Chitramada, I am sure you all are curious to know what the collection has to offer. The lashes, the do, and the perfect shade of rouge. You are in the spotlight and the statement pieces you pair are everything. Accent your party best in sexy booties and sky soaring heels. All dolled up in diamond jewels and shiny shades. Celebration is in the air and champagne is flooding your glass. In other words, get ready to bling in the new year. This standout collection offers table shapes all dressed up in dramatic, never before seen metallics, bows and dazzling embellishments. On trend, reinventions of winter's favorite knee-high boot. A democratic assortment to meet every woman's busy schedule. From flat equestrian styles from the commute to the stack heel option for the dinner date. Each offer easy modern elegance with fashion details. For the men, look out for the wax leathers and high shine finishes on classic silhouettes. Stride into the new year with your best foot forward. Resolve to be dapper in foolproof party essentials for the modern day gen. What do you have to say to that? Now you had so much to say. <laughs> but I was wondering if you were coming up. Uh, okay, so now he asked me, what do you have to say about that, Chitranga? <laughs> well, I just want to say, I think Aldo, no matter where I go and shop, whether you are shopping the high end, you know, uh, uh, shoes or whatever, is probably one of my most favorite. Uh, and I'm not saying because I'm standing here today. I'm sure a lot of women know that, you know, how. Uh, good the style is and how fast the collection changes and how uh, they are so up with the market and whatever's in trend is, is always on the uh, on the rack. So yeah, I, I personally think it's probably the first place that you need to stop and shop if you're looking for what's trending. And then of course when you're probably looking for something really exclusive, you go somewhere else. So this is definitely one of my most favorite and I have to say that the men's section has improved so much over the years. Uh, it wasn't that good, <laughs> but I think now it's just become really, really, you know, trendy. It's probably as good and as many pieces as they have on the women's section. So yeah, it's really good. Great. So good stuff for us men to look out for. Yes. Um, why don't you take a walk around and pick up a piece of jewelry, that was the next. a bag, <laughs> a pair of footwear, and uh, why don't you pair it up and just share your tips as to why are you pairing a certain. They won't give me much time to look around, so I have to make this really quick. Um, okay, so can I just go? So I personally, I, I really like um, sneakers. And I'm very big on wearing just jeans and sneakers kind of thing. So I'm very happy with what has just happened to the sneaker section here. Uh, I know the heels are really nice and I'm wearing a really nice piece. But I'm how quick I am, oh, <laughs> No, so actually I love I love the sporty uh, thing, you know, going. Because uh, I personally think that the, the sporty look, the casual look is a new sort of formal, semi-formal kind of thing. You could wear that with, with even a dress like I'm wearing now. I think you could actually carry it off with gets like that and like this. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think people should have more fun with the kind of things that you uh, combine and you shouldn't really follow with, oh, this is formal, so it's to be heels. I think the idea is to have fun and the kind of, uh, the kind of styling that we have, the kind of options we have now, it's really about creating your own style and not going with, oh, you know, so-and-so wore this, so let me borrow that style. And let me borrow. I, I think you should just go have fun and, you know, that's, that's what's on the right. So, yeah. Okay, so if, uh, see every, every person who's in line towards fashion has always asked this question that if you have to choose between style and comfort, what would you choose and if you have to blend both, how would between you Between style it? and comfort style, <laughs> depends where you are really, uh, okay. of course if you're home, you know, comfort but, but I would say style because I, I think somewhere it really adds to who you are, of course comfort is for yourself, it's very personal space. But, um, but you know, when it comes to um, expressing who you are, I think style is really important. And not to say that you have to borrow your style and look like so-and-so or, you know, this actress or that model. I think it should be your own style. It's who you are. It's about, say, you know, how sexy you feel or how confident you feel or how conservative you feel or how, um, you know, shy you are for that matter. And I think what you wear should really be an expression of who you are. So. Yeah, I think that's probably. Okay. <laughs> it's not all there. <laughs> so I'm just like. 
Um, okay, now that you're at the Palladium, what do you think, how different it is from the other malls in Mumbai and uh, why do you like coming here? Um, you know, if I, if I was to just say on the top of my head, I, I think it's just the energy. I really like Sometimes there's certain places and certain malls we just have. It's not about so and so brand being here. It's just the energy, the flow, the way you walk around, the way the place is gone up. And, uh, you know, the eating places and the coffee shops. So it's very nice. The environment is really nice. I like the ambience, but of course, then the brands are good and the shopping is great. It's everything together in one place. But yeah, I really like the ambience of the place. Thank you so much. Um, any styling tips you would like to share? I just did, I think I've given up yarn. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it should not be about what's in fashion. A lot of times you see people, I mean, you know, the denim is in fashion, so you want to go denim on denim, but it's not who you are. You know, I think it should be about who you are. Even if it's a plain white t-shirt, brown leg with a pair of jeans, you can put in a piece, say, for example, a neon color of palm skirt. And then it just becomes you. It's different. It's simple, but it's stylish. And you're saying you're confident about doing something like this. And, know, and it has your signature style. Yeah, it has your signature style. So I don't think you need to follow by this pencil stuff and I'm wearing a Louis Vuitton bag. If I don't have a Louis Vuitton bag, I'm not fashionable. You know, you, you can't be. You know, I, I, I personally think a woman who's, who's doing her own thing and putting things together is far sexier more confident about herself than somebody who's just saying, okay, I've got an LV and a Burberry and a blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're an expensive woman, <laughs> but I don't know how much style you have. So, yeah, I think that's how you should think, at least. Yeah, be, be stylish in my thinking. Okay, um, I'm sure you've heard this umpteen number of times as to how hot and gorgeous you I are. I have read that question. <laughs> that's part of the question. No, you can have women have been a part of the question that I would have asked you. Uh, so, um, how do you end up looking like that every time. I mean, be it on screen, now having met you in person, how, how do you manage that? I have to look like that every time. <laughs> but no, thank you. Um, well, you know, I, I, I there's, a, there's a team of people who sort of help me, there's my stylist, and you know, everybody, we sort of, everything is sort of put together, mostly, I have to say. But yeah, I think if you were to see me otherwise, I would be your the girl that I just talked about, a round neck, white t-shirt and jeans. And yeah, that's the kind of person I am. And uh, I think just the fact that you're more genuine about who you are adds yeah, to so much a certain character that you have. Um, and you know, then you get written about it, talked about it, and stuff like that. So I guess it makes you attractive. <laughs> but thank you, I love the compliment, please say. <laughs> Whenever you want to. Um, one last message to all your fans out there. Any message you want to I just want to say that you should be you. I think the one thing that is really missing these days is everybody is like someone else. And um, yeah, I think that's... Sometimes you come by this one chick you know, who looks like she's really herself and you talk about that and you think like, wow. Even if she's wearing a Lucknow kurta, you know, a white, like I saw somebody at the airport. And I was like, oh, and she did have a Louis Vuitton. But it was just so herself, you know. So I think that's the only thing that I want to say, that you should be like me, or someone, a girl now, or a girl in the office. It should just be yourself. I think that's the best thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being with us here today and sharing your enlightening tips with us. Uh, now I would like to announce the Q&A session open. Please, please feel free to ask your questions. Uh, first of all, we all want to know how this feels to be the part of this pandemic. I just said actually, it feels really good, yeah. Because I mean, the thing is that it's, it's a very 
you know, um, credible brand anywhere you go. Like I was in Dubai yesterday. Like everywhere you go, there is like this huge Aldo store, and you see so many people coming out, so many people shopping. So it's just a brand which is building and it's become so big, you know. Um, so yeah, it's really good to come to come like a brand like this and be part of an event where they're trying to you know talk about something new that's coming and to associate with them. I think it's great. Well, really and I got a lot of hampers, <laughs> so that was great. So apart from Sulza, if you want to give someone, what do you like to give? Sorry? Apart from sneakers, if you want to give someone, what do you like to give? You can give, uh, that was for myself, I wasn't giving anyone. I, you can give any, I think the, uh, the jewelry is very interesting. It's always very funky. The, the rings are really, I myself have actually bought a lot of rings, um, you know, from Aldo. Yeah, I mean, not just the shoes, I'm saying even the accessories are really nice. <laughs> and sometimes you just want to pick up a frame to see how it looks on you, you know. So it's so affordable that you can do that and have fun and then, you know, sort of you can keep changing. I think that's the best part. Yeah. What's your must-have accessory? Accessory? Shoes don't count, right? But I think shoes are probably the most important thing in any outfit that you wear, for me at least. Whether it's a pair of jeans or it's a dress, it's a gown, anything. I think that the shoes really transform the way you walk in, the, the way you hold yourself, everything. So it is, I think for a woman, a really important investment, yeah, like that. So what made you associate with Aldo? Well, I was approached for it, of course, and uh, when I heard that they want me to come and talk about the new collection and, and you know, I mean, it's a brand sometimes, I'll be honest, you know, the brand is of course always the question when you want to associate with something. And this is not something that I am helping or anything like that. They themselves are so established. So yeah, why not? And I buy Aldo a lot. Yeah. What do you spend on most? Shoes. Shoes. I just picked up two pairs of shoes yesterday in Dubai, which was like pretty heavy. And then I came to Aldo, I was like, this is looking similar. <laughs> this is not, you know. But uh, yeah, I think uh, shoes. The last time we saw you is the boys back item from Kundi uh, with So next time, when you can see you? Uh, you should see me next year, like this coming year actually. Um, so there's two projects that will finish this coming year. So would you like and to share with us? Yeah, of course. I mean, I have talked about it. In fact, it was very unfortunate that we, Nawaz's dates went a little haywire. You know, of course, he's doing really well, which is great. So that's, um, Babu Musha is coming back on track. Um, and uh, the other project that I'm working on is called Band of Maharajas. It is about a Pakistani singer called Billo Mumtaz is her name and it's about her journey. And um, um, so yeah, I mean, the, there's a lot of Taliban and the presence of that in Pakistan and places like that where a lot of musicians having a lot of trouble in, in pursuing, you know, because it doesn't, the religion doesn't allow and things like that. So it, it basically deals with a lot of that and uh, it's about her journey. Yeah, so your favorite style of comfort. Yeah. What do you want to do in a party and the life of the comfort? With what you're wearing? Yeah, if you're wearing something here uh, in your no, I don't mean comfort in that sense. What I meant was you still have to be yourself. I'm not saying you wear something which you're feeling uncomfortable in and you still go ahead. Yeah, then I think style, definitely. Yes. Deal with it. You can go home and do what you want. Yeah, and then you learn that how bad can it get and the next time you don't do it. But I think you should still stretch if you can. Yeah, it depends. If you are with friends, you don't want to be silly and wear high heels and die over it, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I think otherwise, you should. I would think so. Uh, Christmas is also coming, so how are you going to plan Christmas? Um, I don't think I have any plans for Christmas. Maybe a party or something to go to if somebody's having. Uh, but no, I haven't fixed anything. Definitely for New Year's. Yeah, I think New Year's I should be working. I should be yeah, working this New Year's. I should be in Dubai for an event or something. My first working New Year, but yeah, I look forward to it. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.